stand in the shadow. There she is. Look at the ass on her. That is my favorite coloring. Okay, back to work. <laughs> Can't help myself. Now that I have the camera out, I might as well yap a little bit while Carrie finishes up the yard. So we're just on the second last yard to transfer these nukes up to the top, um, providing a little bit of assistance to bring those clusters over that population threshold, or some would say critical mass. Listen to the life in the air. We got started at nine o'clock this morning. That's the earliest we've got started so far this spring. So we are gonna be able to put in a good day of work. And so are these bees. They're just bringing streams of pollen into these colonies. And they got going early this morning too. There isn't a breath of wind. It's gonna be like 20 degrees. And something interesting I found is the syrup feeder is there but the bees are hardly paying attention to it so I'm wondering if we're getting a little bit of natural flow coming now which would be a treat so maybe those maples have come out in bloom everything just seemed to hit a holding pattern through that cold weather just sit and wait until things resume and that's kind of what the bees have done here too looky looky just so much work going on so busy doesn't help that we have parked a truck right in the way so it kind of screws up the orientation a little bit but uh, look at the pull on just sitting on that deck but we will get out of here in about five minutes and they can reorientate themselves and get back in their nest and get back to work so we're back in that yard which we took the heavy loss in it's counting well, maybe I exaggerated 60% because just because I wasn't feeling that well and we went through and the bees just looked like shit. So I just, the tone maybe led to my conclusion. But at any rate, as you can see, this yard has a lot of optimism and spirit in it. And I'm gonna show you exactly why. First off, we're here to um, put these, like, even in a heavy loss yard, you have strong colonies, right? So we have to operate all the same. So here's blue tag hive. And we're going to put this nuke over top to extract some of that strength, to pr promote that smaller nuke, take it away as somewhat kind of like a, represents a split. And then I have colonies like this, which is a smaller cluster. We identify it as probably a problem or if not a problem just flatlining right not really doing anything fancy or maybe there's something going on and but not worthy of shakeout so what do you do with those colonies right I brought a nuke these five frames of bees here set it up on top and what we're gonna do we're not gonna do it today just because we're too busy this job has some time but we're gonna take the small little struggling nest out of here. We're gonna put this big thriving nest down into there and that small little struggling nest go back into this nuke and then we take it back to the front and drop some queen cells into it to rejuvenate that nest. So in that sense, we've taken the flat liner place taker colony, refreshed it with a new queen somewhere else and dropped in a new unit to make us some money. Continue refresh, right? We're not investing any money into this other than time, this bottom unit, just our time. And then we have colonies like this one, which are outright dead oats, and we drop a five frame nuke into it. So boom, instant replace. Here's one of the ones that we're promoting. We're gonna put a merger split on top of this. Look at the bees in there. Terrific. 
Yeah, so like that, all the way down the line. And then the ones that we've left are capable, maybe need a boost, maybe need to be taken down, just need a little bit of equalizing and such. But that is the entire point and what my entire process is through the spring. Focus on the strong ones, promote those, extract the surplus off those bees. We're hinging off these big ones. Then going through, identifying the brilliance within the rest of the apiary and promoting that with that surplus strength. And then pulling out anything that just acts as a place taker, pull out anything that maybe isn't showing any enthusiasm, flat lining, just get them out, drop fresh stock in that place and carry on with business. It's all about, you know, not dwelling on your losses, but embracing the losses and moving forward. So just listen to the life in this yard. Streams of pollen coming in. It is fantastic. This yard is going crazy. See the pollen coming in. That's the free stuff. Carrie kind of laughed. She figured my OCD is kicking in. Too small, too big, too small, too big, too small, too big, too small, too big, too small, too big. Very pattern-like. I'm going to show you something I'm doing, which I shouldn't be doing. Everything about me is screaming, don't do it. Oh, not in this one. There we go. So we just put these boxes on. Look at the bees move up already. Very happy to have space. But unfortunately, my foundation is stuck at Port in Vancouver. And I can't wait any longer. So you know, I sort my six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two honeys, and four empties in the middle. And what that does is it helps the bees organize their work as she moves up. She'll lay those nice four empty frames full of brood, just exactly what I asked for in my split. And then I put four foundations in, two on each side. Okay. So this is just to buy me some time so when these colonies, because they're so big, and when they have resources starting to flow in, and all these young bees wanting to get to work, it gives them a place to work. Except, because my foundation is sitting in the port in Vancouver, putting empty frames in, and you know exactly what's going to happen. Everything about me is saying, don't do it, don't do it. But if I, if I leave the empty space in here, they'll do the same thing anyways, right? And by having these four frames in here anyways, as place to takers, it helps keep everything nice and tight. So that's what I'm doing. It helps travel. It's just six frames in here down the road. They can never keep the frames in place either. So I need to put these frames in, whether or not they have foundation or not. As soon as the foundation comes, we'll make another round and put the foundation in. Don't do it! Don't do it! It's that little bee sitting on my shoulder saying, Don't do it! Don't do it! And then that drone on my other side going, Bah! Did get her done. Oh man, look at the pollen coming in. Streams of free wealth. On to the next yard.